Introduction plus Q&A on GDOC 2.0 The United Nations GDOC 2.0 system is a new single global document workflow and capacity management system replacing existing separate systems GDOC, DCPMS, CMA, etc. GDOC 2.0 will consist of a complete set of document client-facing planning, management, processing and issuance modules to support globally coordinated document workflow and capacity management. Question and answers. Question, what does GDOC 2.0 mean for my secretariat and me as a document submitter? Answer, it means that as a submitter, you will have to switch to GDOC 2.0 for submission of documentation within the next two months, May June 2022. Question. I don't know anything about DDoC 2.0. Where can I get information and training? Answer. Department of General Assembly and Conference Management has produced a set of simple and easy video guides and written manuals that can be accessed on YouTube. Please see the link here on the screen. Question. Is there any additional training like live online Q&A? Answer. Yes, there will be several online events on MS Teams to introduce clients to GDOC 2.0. Please send a mail to gdoc.tutorials at gmail.com and we will include you in the next online event. Question. How do I specifically migrate and how do I get a GDOC 2.0 account? Answer. Please send your name and email as well as the name of your office to ddoc-support at un.org for your account and access to be set up. If you have an un.org email, then you will use your email to log in at https://conferences.unite.un.org/ ddoc2. Question: Where will my previous submissions and records be located? Answer. All previous data has already been migrated to DDoC 2.0. You'll be able to search and retrieve all prior submissions and records. Question. I'm not a technical person and new software is always so difficult to get started with. Answer. Department of General Assembly and Conference Management have introduced new features in DDoC 2.0 that will make it easier to forecast and register new submissions. There is a forecast and submission wizard that takes you through the process step by step. You can also use the duplicate function to easily start a new submission slash forecast from a previous submission. Goodbye and see you in one of the other DDoC 2.0 tutorials.